if there are any VIPs, you can move up closer to the front. Any VIPs out there in the back? Right, I'm going to let you guys uh, take over here after one quick announcement to make sure. So some ground rules for our Q&A before our guests get started here, okay? We can't have anybody come on the stage. We can't accept any gifts right now. We can't have any selfies on the stage here. And there's definitely no touching of Danny's hair. Everybody clear on that? Except by me. Oh, it's the best and he loves it. I'm going out in the crowd with the microphone and gentlemen, the floor is yours. What's up? Oh my god, we are so psyched to be here in, what state is this? <laughs> Illinois or something? I don't know. Yeah. There is a fuck ton of you out there. Thank you. We love you. Yeah. So, uh, so I don't know how long we have, we just some time and we'll just answer as many of your questions as we can. Um, yeah, you guys have the right idea. Generally the way this works is like, if you have something that you can hold up, something unique, uh, then we'll just call that out. Like, I would call out uh, Mr. Meeksies, for instance. Just for instance. Meeksies. <laughs> um, and uh, where's the, where's the... How, how's the mic working? Where is the mic right now? Who's... They're putting fresh batteries in it. So that means we'll just it's sit here. Wonderful. All right, so we're gonna wander around and find some questions. I'm gonna start with this young man right here. Never mind. Okay, he's doing it. Right. Cool. Right. If that's okay with you guys. Hi guys. Hey. It's good to see you. Likewise. Uh, I have a question, it'll be real quick. Uh, we have a friend that's in the Air Force right now. And he really wanted to be here for you guys and see you guys, but he's stationed in Texas. I was wondering if I could take a quick video of you guys, just giving him a shout out. His yes, name, his name is Shelby. this is exactly the type of thing that we can't do in general. But like, and like, just time, like stuff that takes time, like singing happy birthday and stuff. Like, happy birthday to everyone whose birthday it is. We yeah. love you. And your friend is in the, he's in the fucking Air Force, so we will totally do that for him um, or her. Was there anything you wanted us to say in particular? Just say, hey, Shelby, uh, sorry you couldn't make it. We love you or something like that. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey, Shelby, what's going on? Thank you for being in the Air Force. We're sorry. <laughs> We're sorry that you couldn't make it. And also, Brian has something to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. I thank you. It. You rock, Shelby. So he said once again a reminder, we can't do any selfies or any cool requests like that. Please try to stick to actual questions. I'm gonna go to you right here. Hey Brian. Yo. What's the secret for, on how you like not bleeding for so long? It's um, I think it's just an innate gift I was born with, but I didn't realize that I was so good at staring creepily into space for an indeterminate period of time until I started doing shit with this guy. So that's true. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just want it real bad. The echo in this room is crazy. Yeah. Wait, let me check. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Nice. I just wanted to do that. Hey, man. Hey, guys. See you again. Um, put it right up to your lips in an uncomfortable like fashion. swallow it. How, yeah. <laughs> How soon can we expect to see 6969? Yeah. I'm glad you asked. What a great question. Can we roll the video right now? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We don't have a dick move. What an unbelievable dick move that was. Oh, I've always wanted to deny several thousand people the same thing <laughs> at once. Um, so actually, 6969, for all intents and purposes, is done. We, we finished the video, yeah. Um, we are, as 
soon as we fly back to LA, we're gonna see what should be the final, final version, and then it'll take us like a couple of weeks to set up. We wanna do like a screening for it in LA, at like at a movie theater and stuff. Um, yeah, and then we'll just release it on YouTube the next day. So, yeah. within two months. And we have, uh, we have a bunch of other stuff we're doing to go along with it. We're doing a little animated short. We're doing a behind the scenes documentary. I mean, we filmed that thing over a year ago now. And uh, the post-production process has just been crazy long, but we swear to you, it's, it, it really is within two weeks of being finally done. Yeah, thank you for being so patient. Yeah, I really. I appreciate it. Yeah, you guys are awesome. So sweet. Hi, guys. Um, so first, thanks for being amazing fucking rock stars. Thank you all for being amazing fucking rock stars. We know that you're working really... You, yeah. you mean from our, our next album of original stuff or covers? Originals! Because we're, we're, we are doing... We're doing two albums right now. We have the next NSP original album and then Under the Covers Part 2. And we already have tracks recorded for both. We just finished the second track on our second track on our fourth album, uh, original album, and then we recorded one cover, two covers. Yeah, the one so far. Do you want to? I'll, 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 I'll tell them an original, and you tell them a cover. Okay. okay. Wait, you have to sing the original. We'll, we'll both sing the title. Okay. Which one do you, want you, you do the original. Cool Patrol. Yeah. So that yes. That. That wouldn't make any sense to you. This is uh, our first, uh, our next original album is called Cool Patrol. And we're filming the video for it at a roller skating rink in two days. Yes. We have a shoot uh, that goes from 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. Yeah. Because it's the only time we could rent out an entire fucking roller skating rink. It's gonna suck. Oh. <laughs> and what's one song we're doing uh, from the covers? Uh, oh. You spin me around. Right I thought you meant to sing the title. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I, I misunderstood that. It's fine. Um, so we're not actually picking the questions. The dude in the blue is. So just so you know, we're not ignoring you. You all have lovely hands. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, so I just gotta say that uh, I'm glad you guys did take on me. That's one of my Woo! favorite songs. Thank you. Thanks, man. That was it? <laughs> but, What's that? Sorry? Uh, I mean, I'm glad you guys are doing the like, second cover album. That was one of the things I was going to ask about. So. Well, I'm glad you have awesome hair and a great beard. <laughs> it's like the combination of the two of us <laughs> in one person. Oh my god. Thanks, man. Alright, we're still trying this mic thing here. I think we've got it working again. Here's one. Okay, so after going through a really rough time in my life, uh, the music from both the original, uh, Danny's original band, Sky Hill, and Ninja Sex Party, I really wanted to thank you guys for helping me get through some, uh, some really hard stuff. And uh, my question was, are you planning to do any collaborations or have any guests on your coming albums? I, there's definitely one we can talk about right away, which is actually one we've already done, which is uh, we're in the process of doing another track with the Super Guitar Bros. Oh yeah, uh, as we, we love those guys. So love those guys. We did Wish You Were Here with them on the cover album, and we're doing another cover with them, which actually will probably be out sooner rather than later. Yeah, we'll release it soon. And I don't know about uh, collaborations in the music, but... Uh, it, our, the video that we're shooting on Tuesday is going to have Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. So, yeah. They are just the sweetest, those two. Yep. All right, so we move further you. back here. Jacksepticeye on roller skates. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, actually, I actually have a request for... Uh-oh. Oh, God, do I want your request? For what next albums? What's that? Could, for one of you guys' next albums, could you actually do a Christmas album and name it XXXmas? <laughs> we 
That's a great idea. We, we've talked about a holiday album. If there's two things people love together, it's Jesus Christ and hardcore pornography. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. In, in the meantime, might I humbly recommend Mojo Nixon's album, Horny Holidays, as the sexiest Christmas album of all time. It's legitimately one of my favorites. It's a deep cut. All right, we are here in the middle. Okay. Um, first off, I'd just like to thank you guys so much for what you do. Um, I have really bad anxiety, and it helps me get through a lot of it. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> said my question would probably have to be if you had to name a number one favorite video game maybe a number one favorite video game oh man burger time <laughs> i mean come on Brian's away. it has everything it has story it has plot it has graphics oh, it's the perfect game it has burgers i i like i like zelda legend of zelda <laughs> It's the best. The best. Around. Hi there. Hi, Mr. Meeksies. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> so my question is a, a bit of a two-parter. Um, first, uh, what both influenced you two to um, get into the music industry? Yeah. And then the other question is, I know this may not be a club, but would you mind signing my badge? Oh, yeah, after this. If we, if we see anybody, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Of course. Oh, yes. Um, I've loved music ever since I can remember, like, memories, you know? Um, my grandparents have pictures of me, like, when I was, like, one year old with, like, giant headphones that enveloped my whole head, like, listening. Like, they, they was just bred into me by my folks, and uh, so there was never really a question of what I wanted to do. It was, it was always that. Yeah, for me, kind of the same thing. I always did a lot of music growing up. I was taking piano since I was six, I think, six or seven years old. And music was just always a part of my life. So, yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hello. This is for Dr. Wet. How Hi. awesome is it to have a PhD? How much time do we have? <laughs> no, it's great. You know, I worked really hard for like six years and then someone handed me a degree. And now I get to throw it in Ross's face every single fucking chance I get. It's awesome. It's true. Thank you for using my correct title, by the way. Some people call me Mr. Wecht, and that's just bullshit. Mr. Wecht was my father. You can call me Dr. Wecht. Mr. Wecht hates it when you do that. Hey. To, to, to get one or to... to... <laughs> she specifically told me to tell you no reason both. Okay, because I can't force it. It has to have... He has one. It has to have just no reason. Definitely there. Yeah. No reason. Um, so, I have a question. What, what is your secret to being a badass musician? <laughs> a badass musician? I don't know, it's so weird, cause like, there's actually, my buddy, um, Sean, ha has joined us on this trip, and he's, he's maybe met, some of you have met him, he's doing an article, he's writing a magazine article about us, and like, he's, and he was my friend from high school, and we reconnected because he wanted to write this article. And, I don't know what happened, but like, there's something like, I'm so excited to show someone I knew in high school all this because I'm like, look, I'm fucking, I'm cool now. So people think I'm cool now. And it, like, there's really no secret other than just like honestly being yourself and not being a dick to people. And that makes you badass. That's it. That's it. There's something that the Jack Black said that what really always stayed with me. He said this on a Comedy Bang Bang podcast. He was talking about going on tour with Tenacious D. And he was like, you know, so basically we finish the show and then we go back to the room and we sip hot tea and we relax and we read a book. So in order to really rock your balls off, you need to live like a 60-year-old woman. It's true. It's actually true. Yeah. yeah. We speaking, do a lot of reading. Speaking of Sean, Sean, where are you right now? Where's Sean? There's so many hands in the air. Sean, actually Sean, can oh, you Oh, no, Sean. Hey, Sean. 
What's hey. up, man? Hey, Sean, can you come up here for a sec? Because you might want to talk to people, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. That dude right there in the black, that's a reporter. Yeah, he's Danny's he's, friend, he's, Sean. He's the fucking coolest. Come on up here for a second. Sean, can you can you tell people where you're going to be after this in case you want to they want to talk to you? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think that went on. What's your room number? <laughs> oh, that's what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Dude, or in that corner over there. Okay, in that corner over there. Over there. Also, Sean, would you do us a, would you do us a favor? Would you with your classy camera? Would you take a picture of us with all our friends? Oh yeah. Would you guys be down with this? Just stand up and put your fucking hands in the air. We will never look cooler than we just did in that moment. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Thanks, Sean. Look, my little thing fell off. <laughs> Gross. Um, what is your personal favorite game world to me? Sorry, say that again? What is your personal favorite game world to me? Okay. My favorite game world to me? Uh -huh. Oh, God. Anything where Aaron's having a personal mental health crisis. <laughs> I mean, personally, I don't watch Game Grumps. <laughs> Good call. I, I probably Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Just because that was like such a like a, there was such a build up to it. It makes me smile every time. Think about it. Hope no one can see me spit there. Hope it didn't catch in the light. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh. I actually I have a uh, I have two relevant texts. One is from my wife, Rachel. Apparently, Audrey is pooping at Target. <laughs> this mic here, great. So this one doesn't pop as much as I think on. The other is our manager, Brent Lilly, has told us that Brent is a very sexy individual who uh, kind of runs this business. He has some merch in the back of the hall after... Is that right? Yeah. After the panel. Yeah, we don't actually know how many there are, but like we signed a bunch of posters, so yep. if anyone wants to buy one, like we, we you, you can get our signatures that way if you weren't able to get them before. And these are posters we only sell at places like cons where we appear live, so those are available signed and unsigned in the back, and we also have a bunch of CDs. Yes. So he's somewhere like back there, so after the panel, just feel free and to And we're not check sellouts. We are going to use all the money for drugs. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Um, okay, sorry, next question. Oh, there you are, hey. All right, so, first off, the uh, Instagram post you guys did yesterday where you were holding the last unicorn paint. Yes. This is the girl that did that. Yes! Woo! Oh, dude. It's amazing. What, what's her name? Her name's Alex. Alex, Alex, you're an incredible artist. Thank you so, so much for that. That's going in my bedroom. Like, is that weird to say? It's going in my bedroom. That's where that's going. You're going to be naked in front of that painting. Yeah. I'm going to be frequently nude around that painting. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I saw two hands shoot up in victory. And I didn't really have time to prepare a question. I was just mainly focused on getting that taken care of. That's very cool. Cool enough. Point. I have had one thing that I wanted to ask, and it's Game Drums related, but... Sure. Did you ever actually go over to Aaron's house and have his freaking eggs? Yeah. Have his eggs? Yeah, it, it's oh, 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 to eat. Yeah, I thought you meant like to fertilize. Yeah, no, Aaron's a really good cook. Um, he just like, he tends to, well, maybe not anymore because he's more health conscious, but every time I ever ate anything like created by Aaron, there was always like half a stick of butter. <laughs> And I'm just like, ugh. But, yeah, yeah. I've eaten Aaron's eggs. <laughs> nice. And thank you again for painting that. That's, it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, so I've been kind of thinking about this question and how to ask it without sounding kind of dickish. Because, <laughs> like, I love the comedy stuff a lot, but, like, I also like the Northern Hughes stuff and the Sky Hill. And yeah, all the stuff before Brian joined. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, <laughs> I know. But then, like, you know, all the stuff with Torp and all that, so, like, and now you guys have done the cover album and everything, so I was wondering, like, have you ever thought about, like, expanding more and doing, like, a, like a more serious original album? Or, like, yeah, I mean, honestly, man, like, we love doing NSP stuff, and we love doing the cover album, so that's probably, like, the immediate future. But every time, like, there's, like, a five-day window in my schedule, I'll write something with Twerp, or I'll, you know, like the thing with Sky Hill last year, like, we just love, we just love doing anything. We yeah. love creating. I, I think there's a very possible future, and this is many, many years down the line, where we evolve into some kind of more serious band at some point, but... Like with Twerp and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like, but who knows when, if ever, that will happen. But that's not, it's not crazy to think we might become a real band at some point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at some point, people will get tired of dick jokes. Never. At some point. Never. Or maybe not. In the year 4,800. <laughs> Talk about the large woman at KFC. Yeah. Oh my god. I show every single one of my friends that video and we just die every single time. Okay. It's simple. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Can we expect like an upcoming tour from you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah you can. Yeah, you can. I'm from Michigan and I, I would love to see you guys in concert. Cool. Yeah, here, here's, here's the honest truth. Like, I, my entire singing career, I learned how to sing incorrectly. And so, like, for my whole life, every time I sing, like, three songs, and then I have, like, a sore throat for five days, and it's been awful. So I'm just learning now how to sing correctly, and it's, like, a process. So what we'll probably end up doing is, like, doing little tiny baby tours, like, three to six shows, here, three to six shows on another coast, and then like slowly expand it until we're just fucking playing everywhere all the time. And there's, there's, uh, yeah. Another thing is that, so we, we, when we started out as a live act in New York, just the two of us, you know, piano and, and, and whatever this is. Uh, <laughs> but our songs, you know, coming in after uh, Attitude City have become so like musically dense, we had no idea how to perform them. And then we met TWRP, and yeah. we were like, oh shit, here are literally the best musicians and nicest guys we've ever met. And so any touring we do in the future is going to be us plus twerp. Uh, and totally. probably plus Aaron too, so we can do Star Bombs. Yeah. So we now have a solution to being able to perform like kind of very orchestrated things, like basically everything we write now. Right, right. By the way, let me just say real fast, there's people like half a mile away like because there's so many people here. Yeah, thank you so much, so much for coming out. Yeah. All you people in the back. Lots of love to the people in the back. Thank you. Thank you everyone who's not in the back for giving love to people in the back. We have, uh, we have never done a thing in the Midwest before and we have no idea. Yeah, this is really cool. We have no idea what to expect. And you guys have just been phenomenal. Like, yeah. the reception here has just blown us away. We, we grew up in New Jersey, and then we moved to California, so, I mean, for me, this is the first time I've ever been in Indiana, and it's just the coolest place, and we're so happy to meet you all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, my question is, how many girls have you slept with? <laughs> wow. Tell you know them, Brian. What I like about that question is how real it got. Uh, Do you mean like sex or like slumber party sleepover? <laughs> let, 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 let's, sex is a larger number. Let, let's keep it in a ballpark. Ballpark, less than a thousand for you. Less than a thousand. Yeah, it's under a thousand. Less than a thousand. Under a thousand. Can we just? Yeah. A non-specific double-digit number, is that okay to say? Mine wasn't even an integer. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, XX, that's the number. But if I ever get to XXX, I'll let you know. Thank you for that extremely cool question. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, what was that? 
it, it's a it's a lyric oh, from a song. Oh yeah, we wrote that. Sorry, sorry. Got it. Hi. 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 <laughs> uh, I love you guys so much. I have Danny's face plastered all over my shirt. But... You, you've got a, you've got Danny's face custard. <laughs> Whoa. All over your shirt. Oh my god. Is that what you said? I have your face plastered. Plastered. Shirt. Face plastered. Got it. But you should try Danny's Space Custard. You should try their Space Custard. To die for. It is out of this world. <laughs> comedian. He's a professional comedian. Um, but my question is, um, have you ever considered having Danny's dad be a part of one of the NSP music videos? Or yeah. Episodes? We did. Well, the, the next song we write, Avi Quest 4000. Avi Quest. <laughs> Yeah, my, my, my parents, um, I've asked them both to be in videos at various points. Uh, my mom was a school teacher. Uh, she still might be, I'm not exactly sure, but like, she, uh, it, you know, every summer, you know, stops. But like, it's her hand in the Attitude City video, like, brushing my head, and I'm like, eh. That's my mom's hand, but she, she was like, I can't put my face in a ninja sex party video, and then teach five-year-olds in a class. And, and my dad, my dad, like, he super loves it. He's, he doesn't want to be too out front. Um, he doesn't want to be a celebrity himself, but like, every time, like, the Avi chant starts up at like, anything we do, he fucking loves it. He, he's full of shit. So like, it's just one of those things. I'll just keep asking them, and uh, I'll see if I can make it happen. Yeah. No, I love them too. I love them too. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, hello. Hey, hey. Danny, thank you for being a huge inspiration in my life, and also I am a fellow musician. I absolutely love your work. Dude, thank you for having my hair and Markiplier's voice. <laughs> Holy shit! I, honestly, people keep saying, my friends keep saying that I am the son of you and Mark and God, man, you fucking won the genetics lottery. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> but, um, when do you think we could know the release date for the next Starbomb album? The, say it again? When do you think we can know the release date for the next Starbomb album? The next song? Oh, Starbomb album. Star 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 Starbomb? Starbomb's one of those things, like, it keeps, like, it's the one thing that keeps getting pushed back a little bit because we keep just doing more NSP songs and more covers and like twerp stuff. And th that Star Bomb is the one where like life keeps getting in the way. But like Aaron uh, recently said he'd take point on writing the next jam. Ryan, R Ryan. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? Rin Rin Rinja Ryan. Oh my your, god! That's your Scooby Doo name. Do you but, not know my name? <laughs> of course I do. Then what is it? It's a uh, fucking... So, like, Starbomb's gonna come out... I thought so. Yeah. Um, I mean, w Brian already wrote a new jam for it, and so, like, we've, we've begun the process. It's yes. just gonna take us a little time. We have a Triforce-approved jam, which yeah. has been sent to Aaron, and he's working on the rap part of the lyrics right now. Woo so... Our goal is to have another Starbomb song written within the next roughly month. Yeah, and, and, and from the beginning we were always like, we're doing three Starbomb albums. Yep. It's like, it's three, it has to, we have to complete the Triforce. So like, it's gonna happen, I promise you. <laughs> okay, um, well, I've been listening to you guys since the beginning, like I've listened to Skyhill and I'm a huge fan. Oh, and man. Thank I just you. wanted to take a moment to say that I'm really happy that you guys are where you are. Like, there's so many people, and it just makes me really proud. It's fucking unbelievable. It is fucking <laughs> unbelievable. No, we know it. We know it. We don't take it for. I mean, when Brian and I met, I was in living in a shitty apartment in Brooklyn. A, like a terrifyingly shitty apartment. It was really bad. I, I, my wife didn't want me to go back. That's yeah. how scary it was. And he described it and she was like, no, no, you're not going back there. And I was just really, really poor and like, um, felt like, you know, not miserable, but just like, I felt like music was a dream that was never going to happen. And to, to, it, I mean, it's seven years later, but like it feels like the blink of an eye, and to be looking out at all of you, like it's it's unfathomable, and yeah. it means the world to us. It really, yeah. really does. And it's so great. And it's because of you guys. Yeah, really, it's right. totally because of you guys. So thank it's you. Totally because of you. But, um, I just wanted to say that I'm really happy that you guys are where you are, and I'm really 
just wanted to say, yeah, it's amazing getting to see you see your dream. But what I really wanted to ask, I know it's kind of weird, but The Last Unicorn is my favorite movie. Yeah. I've watched it since I was like in third grade, and you putting out that video talking about Peter was amazing. But yeah. like, do you know what's going on with it now, like with this current manager and the current like uh, lawsuit that's been put? I do, I do. It's it's a bummer of a subject, and it's the kind of thing where there's like there's a lawsuit involved. I don't know how much people know about The Last Unicorn and what's going on with it, but there, there's, there's, there's a fight legally between Peter Beagle and uh, his former manager, Connor Cochran, and the only thing I'm going to say about it is I was not present for anything that's being disputed. All of my dealings with Peter and all of my dealings with Connor were excellent. They both were great to me. They were really um, professional and awesome. And beyond that, I just wasn't there, and I just can't comment on any like litigation. Other than that, it makes me really sad, and it takes the focus away from what should be the focus, which is that amazing story. So yeah, that, that's all I can say about it. Yeah, no problem, no problem. I know, sorry about that, that's a downer, but it's, it's true. Wondering if, um, since you guys have had a really good time this year, would you be willing to come back next year with maybe the rest of the game runs as well? Absolutely not. No. Thumbs down. Never. For sure. Yeah, I mean, it would, like we're open to anything. For like, sure. We've learned. We learned a long time ago that like trying to plan out anything a year in advance is so impossible for us because like our life next week could change at the drop of a hat. So, but, I mean, just to speak honestly, we've had a fucking awesome time here, sure, so, so of course. Been great. Of course. Yeah. Thank you. Um, um, I'm, this is kind of a two-parter. Um, first off, have you, do you know, so I have met Nate Wants the Battle? Um, in person or whichever, do you know who he is? Yeah, yeah. We, just, we just hung out with him, like, yeah. He's five minutes ago. Also, He's a very good friend. And also, would you ever be willing to collaborate with him in some sort of way? Yeah, of course. Totally. Nate, if you guys don't know, Nate wants to battle. He is a, an incredibly talented guy, tremendous musician. Uh, you should check out his YouTube channel because what he does is just incredible. Um, and yeah, we'd love to work with yeah, him. Yeah, he's super talented Nate. and he's our friend. So yeah, of yeah. course, we'd be happy to work with him. Hey, guys. Hello. Hello. Uh, Dan, really quick, I really love the football podcast you do, man. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. I, know I don't know if anybody fan. knows what? about that. Wait, wait, like, my, my friend Josh, uh, who I was a buddy of mine in Philadelphia, he was like, dude, can we do a podcast? And I was like, sure thing. And then ten years later we hadn't done it, and then he found out about NSP and Game Grumps and what's going on, he's like, uh, can we do that podcast now? <laughs> And so, like, we don't tell anybody about it, we don't promote it, we just do it on shitty microphones, and, like, a thousand people listen, and one of the thousand is this guy. <laughs> so thanks, man. Thank you. No problem, man. And my question is, uh, I know you're a big fan of progressive rock. Yeah. On uh, the cover album, would you ever, like, do, like, an epic 10-plus minute uh, song? Like, totally. Song? Fuck yeah. Good God, yes. Fuck yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. Hell yeah. I'm sorry? Ooh. We're gonna do all of Tales of Topographic Oceans. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Meatloaf! <laughs> do you just like meatloaf? Or? Yeah, it's delicious. I agree. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, hi. Uh, it's actually a group effort to actually give to... It's, it's, it's not my question. She came up with it. Hello, group. And, and we've been using, like, my cane, the mask, and a hat. <laughs> the question is... Actually, you Well, that is really the uh, fucking million dollar question, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully, infinity? Yeah. How many drops of rain are there that fall from the sky every day? The thing about dicks, and let me just wax philosophical here for a moment, is there are a million ways of looking at a dick. It's like 30 ways of looking at a blackbird, but a dick. Wow, that's really beautiful. I know. I kind of thought that was going more places than it actually went. <laughs> uh, thank you. But yes, a lot. Hello. Hey, I Over can't... here. Yeah, there you are. Over there. Um, first off, I want to say, uh, noise, 
Mike Garuba. Noise. Garuba. Um, I have some fan art I want to give to you later. Thank um, you. But, uh... <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. I have been planning to come here since last December, and I'm so hyped to be here. I could cry right now. <laughs> don't cry. I'll cry, I'll too. I'm not too. I'm trying not to. We don't want this. <laughs> um, I just think you guys are amazing. You're helping me through a lot right now, and uh, I just really wanted Dan and a Brian hug. <laughs> you wanted Dan and a Brian what? Hug. Like a hug. Here's the thing. Yeah. We we can't we we generally try not to do hugs here because it's we try not to do anything that's just for one person and will take a lot of time for other people. But if everyone else is cool with us giving her a hug, we will make this one exception. This is it. Come on up. Come on up. And it's because hard. you were so nice, you get to grab Brian's left ass cheek. <laughs> it's my best one. Cigarettes, but god damn it, Spike makes look fucking smoking look so cool. Ugh. I just want to say she really got in there on that hug too. Yes. This is awesome. Um, hi. Um, so this is for Brian. Over there. Yeah. So a couple months ago, Ross watched your daughter. Uh, how did that go? Is she still okay? <laughs> yeah. She's fine. The question is, is Ross. Uh, so it turns out, Ross, so Ross and Holly watched her together, and neither Ross nor Holly has basically any experience with babies. And so they basically just showed her a bunch of bird videos. And what a shock, right? And then thought, like they realized it was time to put her to bed, and they said, we'll just watch one more video, and then you'll go to bed, okay? And she said, okay, and they thought, that she would honor that promise. <laughs> and then they showed her one more owl video and closed the computer and she went bananas. <laughs> and Ross and Holly basically just didn't know what to do and they just put her to bed and she screamed for a while and then went to sleep. But that's what she does anyway. So, yeah, every, everyone is fine. Ross and I are no longer friends though. <laughs> we weren't that close to begin with. I like, got a small applause for him. <laughs> Hello. Hey. From a fellow Danny and a fellow Jew. So. <laughs> so has Brian's snoring gotten worse or not? It's gotten way more awesome. F funny thing about that, uh, my only request uh, now when we travel is separate hotel rooms. So I don't know if Brian's snoring's gotten worse because I will never fucking sleep near this guy again. <laughs> Interestingly, though, my only request when we travel is that we share a bed. <laughs> It's weird. It, it, it creates a tension in the relationship. Let's, <laughs> let's not to suffer. It is fucking insane though, isn't it? His snor You're snoring. <laughs> what? It's like, some, it's like someone like trapped in a safe and they're trying to chainsaw their way out of it. That was the dream I was having. Are you serious? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Um, I, get, I made you guys a poster. Thank you. Photoshop poorly. Fuck, that's awesome. Awesome. Um, Thank you. I wanted to get a sign, but that didn't work out. But um, so I got a really um, dumb question for you, for you, Dan. I we like dumb questions. Um, how are you both 15 and in seventh grade? It's fucked up, right? <laughs> Very liberal schooling laws in the state of California. Yeah. How old are you supposed to be in seventh grade? Twelve and thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I was like the tough, leather jacket wearing kid who was fucking stupid and stayed back a couple years. Every, every school had one. That 
does remind me of something when you said that you couldn't get the poster signed. We, we just want to say thank you, especially to all the people. I know some of you here were super early this morning and couldn't Woo! get into the signing Yeah, session. shy, man. So, it, it, first of all, we can't thank you enough just for coming out at all, and you, we're really sorry if you couldn't get into the autographs. Ideally, we could sign everything that everybody has, but there's just not enough time. Yeah, so. the, the only reason, like, if we didn't sign your stuff, or didn't get to meet you, it's, you know, only because we're two human beings, <laughs> you know, and not because we didn't want to or anything like that. You guys are fucking so, fantastic. Yeah, thank you all so yep. much for... To everyone who came early and couldn't get in, we love you. Totally. Alright, so kind of going off the uh, last question is, when can we see more NSP in real life on the uh, NSP YouTube channel? First of all, I'm getting tired of people with lower, cooler voices than me <laughs> asking questions. Uh, I'd say the next time we experience something in real life. So far, we basically dress up in weird costumes and run out roller rinks in the middle of the night. So, yeah, yeah. We, real life is uh, something that we're desperately trying to avoid. Yeah, you know what? Though, we did... We may put together a compilation. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. We've gone around the country, uh, and like I try to throw my trash into garbage cans and just yell, Kobe, as I, as I do it. But my aim is fucking horrible. So Brian has probably like 40 different takes of me just like airballing garbage. Yeah. And confidently like calling it beforehand. So we might do something with That's that. That's probably the next we'll one. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see. What happens. That's true. So I was wondering, what's the most intimate thing you've done with Brian? The answer might change in two seconds. Let's share a mic for this one. What is the most intimate thing we've done? Uh, probably you getting down to a thong and then me smacking your ass cheeks a bunch of times. We used to do that shit on stage. That's right, that's right. That used to be how we finished our, um, our stage show. Like, the kimono would fly off and I would be, hey, how's it going? Um, I would just be wearing a thong and then Brian would like, like wail, wail on the ass cheeks. It was tight. It was weird, thank you. And it was, it was weird too because this was before we got known and so these these shows were in like black box theaters in New York for like 20 people yeah. and it was fucking awkward as shit. Oh, it was so, like I feel like if we did it now it would be less awkward just because like people are like This guy actually bought a thong collection that we used to break out on stage, right? That's true. The, there was um Oh god, what was it called? The Mater D? No, 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 not the thong. Uh, the, the place where I bought... Oh, there was this place in New York called the Pleasure Chest. And, yeah. and they were convinced that I was a male stripper because I would go every week and buy a new thong. I was like, I'm just a comedian, and they're like, yeah. You had one that was a toucan with the beak that came out. That's in the FYI, I want to FRA video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those are some good times. A lot of these thongs are in our videos. Yeah. I gotta do some sit-ups. And some push-ups. <laughs> and then maybe I'll be thong ready for the summer. Alright, so a quick heads up. We do have some more time, but we're getting close to the end. So we're going to go rapid fire as many questions as we can. Okay? okay, cool. Yes or no answers for everything. Um, hi, I'm Fiona. And no. <laughs> um, and I'm a fellow musician and my whole life and uh, I've struggled with and was recently diagnosed with OCD and I just had um, some questions for you Danny if there were during your uh, times like you talked before on Game Grumps uh, yep. like your really low parts if there was like a word or a phrase or a color or something that just kind of grounded you and helped you keep hold, holding on tight to that love of music in your oh. Uh, you know what? It's like, it's, it wasn't a word, um, it's just breathing, like for me, like just deep breathing, like, because when you're anxious, you usually like breathe from the chest and your shoulders go up and that stuff, but like, you want to breathe from like the diaphragm down, and just like, so like breathe like slowly, and then like this other thing I learned was called whispered ahs, where you take a deep breath and then you just go, and something about that, it just like resets your nervous system, and then you're like, oh, I'm okay. And that like pulls you out of like panic. It does for me all the time. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, <laughs> I know, that's a weird thing to be like, yeah! 
<laughs> no, but yeah, it, it helps. It sure helps. Hey guys. Hey. hey. I'm the parent of the two-year-old who loves what she calls gay grumps, not game grumps. Oh yeah, gay grumps. <laughs> so I've been wanting to introduce her to your music. What would be the best album to do that? Well, whichever songs have the most uh, ass sex. <laughs> Definitely butt sex Goldilocks. Butt sex Goldilocks, that's the one. That's the one. Um, as the parent of a two-year-old myself, yes. I can tell you that she, uh, Audrey, loves Under the Covers. And we request it all the time, usually by saying, Daddy's song, Daddy play piano, Danny sing, Daddy's song. Yeah. Also, she refers to TWRP as Wobot Kitty Wobot Wobot. Yeah. She likes Kitty the most. Yeah. She actually learned one of the robot's names. Is that right? Yeah. Good for her. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> Woo. Holy shit. Um, okay, so I know that Father's Day is tomorrow. Um, I was wondering if both of you would mind being my rad dads. <laughs> I'll be your daddy. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> what an excellent question. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Hi. Hey. Um, do you have any advice for people that want to start doing their own music? Just fucking go for it. Like, yeah, yeah, just do it. Do it and do not give a shit about what anyone says or thinks. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Because honestly, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, no. Like, sorry. I think part of what made it easier for me was while I was in my learning phase and like uh, going through stuff that was not, putting out stuff that was not professional. Because the stuff you first put out will not be professional stuff. It's just how it goes. Um, the fact that YouTube didn't exist at that time was very helpful because like, you care so much about what you do, and then you work so hard on you, and you put it out there, and then if you put, if you're new on YouTube, you put something out there, and immediately someone's like, "You suck!" And you're like, Aah. "Fuck that! Fuck them! Fuck everything! Just do it! Just go for it!" The other thing I would say to that, just to add on to that, it's never going to be perfect. Don't wait for it to be perfect. Right. Just get something done and be happy with what, with what you can do because and it's don't, never going to be what you hear in your head. Yeah. And don't ever, ever, ever stop for any yeah. reason. That's it. Um, my question is, you guys mentioned going on tour and all that kind of stuff. Would you guys ever consider having local acts open up for you? That's a good question. We've never really thought about opening bands in general, but yeah, we'd be happy to. Yeah. TWRP is awesome at that, because they've done, like, they've been road warriors a lot longer than we have. Um, so I'm sure uh, Dr. Sung will, like, put out the, the feelers in every city we go to and just be like, hey, who, you know, would someone be cool? What's, what's the name of your band, man? You, Hell's Scorched Earth. Nice. That's an awesome fucking name. That's, I'm fucking fired up just thinking about it. It's awesome. All right, guys, I have the very last question of the panel here with me. Okay. Okay. Hi. Um, earlier, then you said that you were just recently learning how to sing correctly. What are you doing to learn how to sing correctly? Uh, I found a really good teacher. Like, this is all technical stuff, but like, you, I've always sang from the throat instead of the diaphragm, and when you do that, like you tighten up, and you're trying to force air and like notes out instead of like starting the energy here and letting it like just kind of get manipulated in your throat and then come out. So like I was basically just fighting my own body every time I sang and like tensing up, and you don't need to like your vocal cords handle everything and like. A posture, like, and, and I have to swim every day and, like, just get in shape and all those different... Thank you. Uh, and all those things, but, like, it, it um, I, 
th you can attest, like it's yeah. um, totally different now. Well, and, and yeah, you do say you do actually sound very different. But just in general, as a musician, you can never. I mean, you can always keep getting better. So you should always, you know, if you can afford it, take lessons. Like there's no such thing as oh, I have nothing more to learn. Even the best musician in the world still has miles to go. Yeah, the the drummer for Rush, Neil Peart. <laughs> So awesome. He is considered by many to be the greatest drummer in the world. And a couple of years ago, he completely changed his drumming style. He went like back to school, basically, and learned a different way to drum. And they were like, why did you do that? You were already a master. And he was like, what is a master but a master student? And I was like, holy shit. Yeah. So, like, that's definitely, you, you're, you just always keep learning. Always keep learning. You can always get better. No problem. So I can guess that's it. I just want to do one thing on this mic. Like, can I, <laughs> can I get a price check on one banana? One banana price check. Nice. Uh, before we do go, first of all, we just want to say thank you guys so, so much yeah. for, for being here. We, we would not be here without you guys, and we love you. You're the best. Yeah, and if we didn't get to say hi to you, like, we just want you to know that, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. We fucking feel the love so, yeah. so hard from you guys. Or am I doing it right? Yeah, I'm trying to do the hard thing. And, like, we, we, will ne we, we never lose sight, and we will never lose sight of the fact that you are the reason we're here, and we That's get right. to do what we love for a living. And we'll never be able to thank you enough, so thank you so, so, so much.